But it is, yeah, it's pretty nice weather. Thanks, Greta. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. Ah, oh, yeah, it's a beautiful day. I'm actually in a great mood. And you know, it's one of those weird days. I'm recording this on Monday. And it's like everyone woke up in a great mood today. I don't know what it is. I walked into my daughter's room. She's like doing a major like spring cleaning. Uh, everyone was actually, my wife, everyone. I actually, for, for some reason, I decided to really like sort out my office. I haven't done that in a couple of months or maybe a year. Actually, everything's been kind of on hold for like the last year with the baby and everything. And maybe that's part of it. Now that we're back here and it's, it's quiet and the baby's all good. And for whatever reason, we're just all just feeling like in a good mood. And uh, yes, it's pretty easy to be in a good mood too. You got the baby, <laughs> the babies. It's so amazing. And uh, we've got so many babies actually. We've got the four new Chihuahua babies and they just opened their eyes for the first time a couple of days ago. All four of them super healthy, just like our baby. We've really been blessed with just incredible health and abundance. And uh, even at the ranch, which we're actually going to next week, which I'm really looking forward to because it's getting close to being done. And uh, they, they sent a video from there and uh, one of our goats just had a baby. Yes, uh, just blessed with total abundance. And you know, if, if I look at my total net worth, which isn't as high as a lot of people think it is, I've lost about half of my net worth in the last year with the crypto crash, just like a lot of people. A lot of people lost 80 or 90% or even 100% if they're in BlockFi or Celsius or FDX or Three Arrows Capital or Luna. I actually made quite a bit on Luna. But uh, I'm still in a great mood. It's actually kind of cool thinking that we're probably near the bottom right now. And I'm like in the best, I'm happier than I've ever been. Like I can't imagine if, if we go through a, a bull market here again in the next year or two, which we totally expect, although we'll see what happens because we are in the apocalypse. Like just be incredible. And it's a lot of it's all because of all the work I've been doing on myself and then having had a drink of alcohol in like 14 months. That's helped so much. Been meditating so much, quite often at least two hours a day like every single day, I, I rarely miss a day. Like maybe once every month or two, I might miss one and it's usually because something's going on or I have to do something that day. And uh, I actually got off, I got back addicted to sugar again. <laughs> you might remember I got off it like six months ago, but the stress of the baby being, being born and all the stuff that happened around then. And then there was Christmas and then there was New Year's and then there was getting ready for an Arcapoco. And then there was an Arcapoco, which basically for me lasts a month. And so I kind of like, I, I just started drinking the Starbucks again. I was like, oh, I need something, <laughs> something to get me through this period. But now that we're through it all, I'm off it again. And so far feeling great. And I really, I gotta say, I'm so stupid. Like <laughs> I really didn't realize just how bad sugar is. I, I know I've said this before, but I didn't fully realize even until last few days, one of the things I do when I'm about to uh, try to drop something like sugar or alcohol or whatever is start reading about all the bad things about it. <laughs> and uh, actually Alan Carr's got great books for all of them. So I actually downloaded on Kindle his uh, How to Stop uh, Sugar. Oh, here comes my baby. And uh, now we got some golfers, little kids. And uh, I'll walk this way. And, uh, So I've been reading that and it really made me realize that something I never fully realized before. Here's the thing I didn't realize about sugar. All my life I've always had like a Coca-Cola or I don't know what other kind of sugar. Definitely over the last few years, Starbucks Frappuccinos. But there'd always be definitely some sugar in my life. And I just kind of took it as for granted. Like, well, that's, I guess, just how it is. Like I have sugar 
a fair amount in my life. Not all the time, not like uh, most people do, but you know, definitely uh, have some tacos, have a Coke with it, right? Stuff like that. And I didn't realize that basically you get addicted to that from a very young age, even like when you're even in the womb, if your mom's eating a lot of sugar and it's an actual addiction and it's actually not good for you at all. <laughs> And the reason that you keep going back to it is because you're basically addicted to it. And this is where I'm stupid. I didn't fully realize that that's actually the case until just the last few days. So this has given me extra incentive now because in the past I'm like, well, it's bad for you, so I should stop. But I never really got my head around the fact that I've been basically addicted to it my whole life. And it's basically just an addiction, just like cocaine, heroin, alcohol, everything. Sugar is just another addiction. And so now that I know that, I've got an extra sort of thing like, well, because not knowing that, I would have in a, in a week or two go, well, I'm off the sugar. And that's like, well, I'll have a Coke with some tacos. Why not? Right. But now I'm going to be like, no, 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 no. I'm never going to, I'm going to try to never really have sugar again. Now, I know that's almost impossible, but I'm going to be mostly eating food just from our own ranch pretty soon from now on. So kind of looking forward to that too. Like, I think that's going to really make some change. And I also kind of assumed that that sugar gave me a boost and Alan Carr's book I've been reading, I'll put it on screen, the easy way to stop eating sugar or something like that. So I kind of always thought it gave me a little bit of a boost, like a little bit like, oh, I'm kind of like slow today. Well, why not have a Frappuccino or a Coke? It'll get me going. But what I've realized now is after 52 years, that the whole reason I'm kind of slow is because of the sugar and the sugar makes me get that kind of low. And then the only thing that can kind of pop me out of it for a bit usually is some sugar. But now that I know that, you know what they say, like uh, information or something, there's a quote like something like that. Like it's the best form of something. I don't know what the quote is, but anyway, now that I've got this information, the chances of me really getting back into any kind of sugar again is very low. Now, I know I've said that all before with many things, but like there's a video seven years ago of me saying I'll never drink alcohol again. I'll never <laughs> smoke cigarettes again. And uh, I haven't had a drink now for 14 months. I really have no plans to ever drink again. Although we'll see, we'll see. I never say never at this point. Uh, as far as the cigarettes, this has actually been one of the best things ever, just in terms of uh, transitioning. I've got a whole video to get into here. I just started rambling on this. But uh, this thing, I'm telling you, if you smoke cigarettes, it's called Smoke, S-M-O-K. It's the coolest little thing. You can put in like organic, I put organic tobacco, organic uh, THC, not too much. I don't really get like high or anything. And organic um, fruit. Uh, from a company called Kai's Virgin Vapor. I'll put it on screen. I don't get anything from them. With that, you have like no smell. You can be like an airplane and smoking. I know you're not supposed to, but you know, <laughs> you always find a way around it or whatever. You have no bad smell from your mouth. Your clothes don't smell bad. Your hair doesn't smell bad. Your teeth don't get all yellow. So these are the benefits of this. And what I've been doing is going down every few months in the amount of nicotine in this so i started with like i think it's 24 milligrams or something then i went to 12. i'm currently on six but i just ordered three and pretty much after that i'm pretty much like not really addicted to the nicotine anymore and now it's just a habit so i think i'm going to probably drop that too so those are like my last few things now like the sugar i think i'm done with now uh had my last little thing with it over the last few months uh the caffeine I actually don't really care that much about caffeine. It's kind of, to me, caffeine's tied to the sugar. I always got it from the Frappuccinos or the Coca-Colas or whatever. Um, and now I might even stop this in a few months, but I'm telling you if, you, if you haven't stopped smoking cigarettes yet and you want something that's a million times better, actually, I have to warn you though, I was probably gonna stop smoking before now, before, I'm probably gonna stop in the next month or two, but, I have it because this is so awesome. Like it's, it's like the coolest thing. And like, I can smoke it on an airplane. I can smoke it, you know, wherever, anywhere. It doesn't matter. It doesn't bother anyone. It's, it's like, so that's my one warning about it is that it's so cool. You might not want to stop, but then again, like nicotine or tobacco isn't necessarily all that bad for you. 
Uh, but you know, it's not to me. I want to get rid of all addictions. Anyway, I had no plans to talk about any of that. <laughs>